guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a little fun vlog preface saying that i think i am a little bit sick so if my voice sounds congested that's why and that's actually the reason why we're doing this vlog is because i'm not feeling the best it's gonna be super fun we are going to be doing a kind of like reading vlog trying to get through my tbr i still it's only may 8th so i have a lot of time to read my tbr I just feel like I'm going to be reading today, why not make a video out of it? If you haven't seen my May TBR, I'll link it down below, you guys can watch it. I think I had six books on my TBR. I also uh, want to add book lovers to that list because I completely forgot about it. I randomly started reading this book, The Flat Share. I got this while I was in London, but apparently I think it's big on TikTok, I'm not really sure. But I did start this, this was just a random book that I started, but essentially we're going to be reading a bit. I have two of the books that were on my TBR and then this one. I'm reading this book, I've actually been having a hard time getting into it. I think it may just be like the times that I'm reading, but I am, I don't know, page 50 um out of how long is this book actually 191 pages so i'm currently reading this but the other two books that are on my tbr is god anti-gay i don't really think i want to read this right now because i feel like this is a book that i really need to pay attention to and right now i just kind of want to read something like fluffy and easy to read my last one is a mia sheridan book i actually got this on apple books so that's why i have my ipad but it is called most of all you i had the prologue pulled up i kind of think i want to read this right now so i think we're gonna do that i also thought it would be fun to kind of do a tracker it's currently 11 12 i actually just got back from church around 10 45 maybe but yeah we are just chilling i'm gonna drink my water and read this so yeah let's get into it so guys it's 1 35 and i just finished most of all you i realized i did not vlog me reading at all apologies i was just so immersed in the story because it was amazing i completely forgot that i had actually had like a instagram talk with sarah crowley that's how you say her last name but if it's wrong i'm sorry sarah she's definitely not watching this but i did we did have a conversation over dms and we were talking about redeeming love because she was reading it in mid-march i'm pretty sure and she had said most of all you was a moderate modernized version of redeeming love when i started reading it i was like wait i think i think this is exactly like redeeming love then i remembered my conversation with her and i was like oh my gosh it's essentially literally exactly sarah's word modernized version of redeeming love i rated it four stars i know some people like it some people don't like it but for me it was a four star book i really enjoyed it i also really enjoyed redeeming love so maybe that's just like my version of a story that i like i'm not really sure I enjoyed all of mia sheridan's books so far that i've read I, i've only read archer's voice in the most volume but they were really good since it's 135 or 141 i think that took me it took me over two hours to read it what but it was super good and now i'm gonna try to read the flat share because maybe now that i just read a good book i can get into that one okay i thought i would update you guys i don't know how far i am but it's good i like it i've been like doing this it's so cute. I'm gonna keep on reading. Guys, it's four. It's 4:34, and I just finished. It. I just finished this. I think it's like a four-star book, probably, because this book. I read this book, and then I read the Spanish Love Deception. And they both had references to Twilight. And if you guys don't know, Twilight is literally my favorite thing ever. Like, I literally have an obsession. And so I just thought that was funny. Like, two books that I've read in, like, the past three days, maybe, have both mentioned Twilight. And I think that's just a sign that I should read Twilight. 
took me a little bit longer to get into i think the content was a lot deeper than i thought it was going to be i thought it was just going to be like a contemporary romance going to be a fun easy read and i will say like even on the back of the book i'll read you guys the synopsis um, their friends think they're crazy, but it's the perfect solution. Leon occupies a one-bed flat while Tiffy's at work in the day, and she has a run of the place the rest of the time. But with obsessive ex-boyfriends, wrong wrongly imprisoned brothers, and of course the fact that they still haven't met yet, it seems this flat share is more complicated than expected. And so, like, from the synopsis, I was like, oh, it's just gonna be, like, a little fun flat share. Um cute romance but I will say there's a lot more depth in this and definitely look up content warnings I didn't say this for most of all you but also look up content warnings for that um but yeah I actually really enjoyed this you guys so I actually wasn't planning on starting this but randomly I was like why not so I just read the introduction and it actually doesn't seem bad I haven't read many books like surrounding this topic um, I've only read one actually and I've said this like a few times but it was literally the worst book I've ever read not because of the subject like that part like I want to dive into that I want to learn more about it everybody should want to learn more about what they don't know anything about so when I'm reading these books I'm obviously trying to educate myself and so I read that book and it was from someone that identifies as straight he's a white male he is what you would call privileged and I just thought the book was so bad like it was so poorly written and it was just I I don't even know how to explain it it was bad but already from this book I can see that I'm going to enjoy it more um the author is someone that struggles with same-sex attraction it'll have an interesting pers uh, perspective so I'm excited to read this I know this isn't like it doesn't like go in line with the other books that I've been reading, but this is a true reading vlog. So also it's like 5.04 and I still have homework to do before finals. I thought I would update you guys. I think I may s just read one chapter and then I need to do my homework and I'll just continue the vlog for the rest of the day. Okay, that was really fast. It is currently 5.09, but I read the first chapter. And like I said, I got I got stuff to do, so I have to get up. I've been sitting on this couch for like six hours, and has it been fun? Yes, but am I ready to get up? Also yes. I do a quick tidy. Uh, my room isn't that messy. It's literally just a couch. So. So the question is, should I be sitting on my couch right now, turning on Twilight as we speak? and going to try to do my homework no i should probably do it at my desk but am i gonna watch twilight and do my homework on the couch yes i am yeah this is my room i have literally been riding here i'm still sitting here it is literally 7 57. i did finish my homework which is good. I'm not studying for my two finals tomorrow. No, I have not. I'm going to get ready for bed. And then I'm going to study for my Portuguese final because it's first thing in the morning, unfortunately. Okay, I'm literally going crazy. I never ended off the reading vlog, so I'm just gonna end it off. So recap, um, most of all you, I loved it for, I think I rated it four stars. It wasn't a five star book, but I did love it. I thought it was the exact replica of Redeeming Love, just modernized. I think I mentioned that multiple times for you guys already. But yeah, I did really enjoy it and I'm glad I read it. And then the next book I read was the flat share also enjoyed that that was another four star book it was it was fun good deeper than i thought it would be and then i'm still currently reading is god anti-gay did not finish that one but i would say that's pretty successful reading day vlog i also studied i've taken my portuguese final and it's currently 123 and i have my chemistry final at 7 30 
that's my last final so i'll be done monday which is amazing i mean i do have one online class that i have a unit project due but i'm going to do that tomorrow morning so i'm not worried about it it is currently like 96 degrees outside right now so i definitely want to be outside but i have to study which is unfortunate but i need to do what i need to do i go ahead and end off this vlog thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you've read these books what you thought of them um or if they're on your tbr Okay, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye, guys.